Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and today I'm going to be giving you a feature preview and a bit of a tutorial for one of the new blocks coming in the next update for Minecraft Xbox and Minecraft PlayStation, and that new block is the Dropper. So, it's a bit of a situation like the chest and the trap chest, where you might be very confused at why it's different from an existing block, because not only does it look very similar to the dispenser, but it also acts very similar, uh, but it does have a unique function and is easy to craft, so I think it's definitely worth mentioning in this video today, and you might very much enjoy its services, because it's another one of those redstone features which really ties in nicely with a lot of other stuff. So that's what's going to be a gun dispenser. We'll explain that in a second. First of all, though, I have two things to explain. First of all, this is PC gameplay. So uh, if you, you know, if, so I can talk over gameplay rather than screenshot, please do like the video. It'd be appreciated because a lot of people would be like, Toy Cat, this is PC, not Xbox and PlayStation. But yeah, it's just a way for me to show you stuff in the future. And second of all, uh, I have a playlist for all of the new features coming out in this update that I've done tutorials for. If you want to learn about anything, whether it be beacons, whether it be hardened clay, whether it be the trap chest, anything that I've covered so far, check that playlist will be linked down below in the description and on screen right now. So uh, with that out of the way, let's get right into what the dropper does and why it's different from the dispenser. Because if you didn't know, this is the dropper, this is the dispenser. Uh, the dispenser is very shocked. And uh, the main difference, uh, to me at least, is one, it's easier to craft. So that's a really nice thing. You don't need a both this one, which means you can just use a few bits of cobblestone and a redstone to make this, which, you know, in general for survival is better. Second of all, uh, the next main difference is uh, the dropper kind of drops all items where a dispenser uh, it does drop items in the same way for a lot of the time so uh, with uh, like let me let me show you right here for instance uh, so as you can see they drop items kind of at the same pace even here the dispenser actually went shorter but uh, the interesting thing about the dispenser is the dispenser for some blocks so with a water bucket or with a fire charge will actually fire those items out so that's really cool for some situations so you can have an automated gun for instance uh, firing out fire charges here uh, or you could have a uh, water which pours out from these but it means if you want to give people a water bucket so if you're in the bench map or something the dropper is the only way to go, or, you know, TNT. There's a whole bunch of items which, when you find them out for dispenser, they turn into the literal items. So, splash potions, buckets of water, fire charges, if you want to actually give them to player, you have to use a dropper. So, um, the third major difference is perhaps the coolest one, and I left it for last, because it's also one of the more complex ones, because the dropper can drop items into containers. So, uh, let me just show you a few times here the difference between the dropper and the regular one. As you can see, they generally get close enough uh, spreads here, it's kind of randomised. But as you can see, just getting a little hot and clay there. But uh, the, as you can see here on the left, the dropper. So I'll put a chest in front of this, and I'll put a hopper in front of this one. And uh, as you can see just here, when you fire both, what happens is the dispenser just fires right past it, ends up over there, which is kind of a weird angle to end up. End up, up. And uh, as you can see on the left here, the chest now has a green, lime green stained clay in there. So <laughs> I'm missing out my words there. But you get the point. So there's lime stained clay in the left one, and there's nothing in the right one. So uh, yeah, the, also the, it seems could be going really wild with the hopper and just firing in that direction. So, yeah, if you want stuff put into chest, but you want it to do it uh, based on a redstone signal, you can do it this way. Because hoppers, they just automatically do stuff into chests. So, uh, for instance, here you can see if I throw something in, it just automatically goes in. But if you want something to go in, when you have a redstone charge. So, let's say, so for instance, every time a minecart goes over something, you want to fire an item into a chest. You can do it that way too. So, let's go with this chest and let me show you another example where you can get a little bit more complex. So, let's say, for instance, that you wanted to... Um, Every time you press this button here, uh, you want to fire, like, let's say, you know, a piece of uh, green wool with a one ninth chance of TNT into a chest, so that way you can get, like, kind of a probability thing going. Uh, what you can do is you can see, it. look at this chest over here, it's got nothing in it right now, but you uh, you can make a long chain of hoppers, so let's show you hopper, 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 and uh, as you can see, they're all linked together going that way. You can link all of those hoppers together, and you can have the items go through. So, in this uh, dropper here, I've got seven, uh, or eight, sorry, bits of limestone clay, and one bit of TNT, just for, you know, some good risk measure. If you want, you can also have a random chance of, like, dirt, for instance, and now you get, like, probabilities of stuff going in there. So if you want, uh, as you can see, I fire it. Wow, that went really strange. But uh, I'm going to fire it, like, every few seconds, like this. I can even have this hooked up to a timer if I really wanted to. And as you can see, it's going to slide through these now. It'll take a little bit of time. And then as I open this, you can see I've got a button for some reason. I've got dirt. And I've got some lime stained clay. So uh, I've got, you know, I, the probability didn't give me TNT, but it did give me dirt. So uh, it's a really cool way to do some stuff with probabilities. It's a cool way to just drop stuff into chests based on redstone signals. And I think it's really cool in general. As well as that, though, it is just an easier to craft dispenser. Like in survival, most of the time, uh, you might want to say, 
save yourself some time cropping this instead of this because they have as like you saw in the testing there they're basically the same when it comes to firing most items and uh, finally its main or one of its other uses is that you can use it to drop specific items in a way that doesn't throw them at the player so if you don't want a splash potion in your face I guess the dropper is the only way to go I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial for the dropper if you did you can like the video let me know as you can see they're they're the happiest little droppers in the world that's that's why they, they want you to like the video for some reason <laughs> uh, but yeah you can like the video let me know share it if you really liked it check out that feature preview playlist thing I would very much appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next video